Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos with the Oculus Quest development. I'm going to be focusing today on showing you how the universal RP is set up for Oculus Quest. I'm going to walk you through a demo that I created and I'm going to be putting in GitHub so you guys can download it and try it on your own. And also it should show what you see behind the scenes. We're going to be applying some post-processing effects. We're going to be looking at Bloom. We're also going to be looking at Film Grain and other effects that are available as part of the post-processing effects that are part of the URP pipeline. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so the first thing that we need to do is we're going to click on this drop down because I want to make sure that I select the proper version for this video. It's going to be using 2018.3.3 F1. We're going to click on it. It's going to give us a few options. I'm going to select Universal Project. And this one is just going to be the Oculus. I'm just going to call it Oculus Quest universal rp and then i'm just going to put it under demo i think that's just fine then let's just click on create and i'll just continue on as soon as this is done creating all right guys so it looks like the project got created and right now it's baking but it should be almost done so the first thing that i want to do is i want to set up everything so that we can run this in the oculus quest so i'm going to go ahead and go into window and let's go ahead and install the the go into the package manager once we go to the package manager, I'm going to be installing and updating a couple of components. The first one that I'm going to be updating is going to be universal. And that's because I couldn't get the version that it's installed right now working with Oculus Quest. So I'm going to be upgrading that to 7.21. That's the one that actually work. And when I say work, things were in rendering on both eyes. With this version, everything renders on both eyes. Everything works well, just like you saw on the beginning of the video. So the next thing that we're going to do after this is completed, we're also going to be installing the XR Interaction Toolkit because I want to be able to use some of those components to pick up items, to look around, and then that way you can see how everything looks like. All right, so it looks like the Universal RP is already being installed to 7.21. So the next component that I want to install is going to be the XR component. So I'm just going to search for XR. Then when you search for XR, you're going to see that there's just a lot of things in here, XR interaction, subsystems. We also have the legacy input helpers. The one that I want to install, I believe still is in preview, and that's the reason why it just doesn't show. And yeah, it is still in preview. The latest version is 0.9.3, and that's the one that I think I've been playing with. So it's going to get, I'm just going to go ahead and click on install. And right after this one, we're going to be installing the Oculus XR plugin because we're going to be using the Oculus for our experience. Let's just give it a couple of more seconds. So, And once we get all the packages done, we're going to be looking at interaction. So let's go ahead and get this one installed as well. I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and install the one that has been verified to work with this version. I haven't really experimented with 1.20 and 1.20 previous ones. So that's the reason why I'm telling you to, to use this one so that I can, you know, I can get some time to experiment with them and then I can show you guys the results instead of you know trying to fix those results in in this video so for the most part I think we got everything we need so we got a couple of errors I'm just going to clear everything now and we should be good to go as far as that is concerned you can see that we have a post processing volume right now and I have a ton mapping I have bloom I'm going to increment and exaggerate the we can probably just keep the threshold there but maybe exaggerate the intensity a little bit just so that you can see basically what I had on the video we can we can also add another another effect that I'm going to be let's go ahead and use we can do color adjustments perhaps let's just tone down the exposure a little bit we can just do like negative one it's fine and let's see what other effects we can try I can also do film grain and you know I play around with just multiple effects if I go into the game view you're going to see that you know, as I'm applying the the actual grain, we're getting grain on the on the screen. So it's gonna keep it. I think point A is fine, and you can keep experimenting with most of these ones. I think the other one that I also tried was the I did vignetting and also chromatic variation in the demo that you saw in the beginning. So we can do that as well. I think point four, it's fine for that. Let's just do one more effect, and then I'm gonna concentrate. On the on the actual XR component of this video, so on this one we can just do we can just just play with the gain a little bit more, and just make it look a little more classic style. So you can just play around with this. If you want to change the gamma, you can change the gamma. I'm just gonna leave that one default, and it just gives you you know 
different look and feel. So now let's go ahead and focus on the XR component so we can get this running. I'm gonna go ahead and click on XR. And then I'm going to be adding the, let me look at the room scale XR rig. That could be the one that, and I'm gonna offset it just a little bit because I, I don't think it's, we're not gonna, I don't wanna be right on the on the wall. I can probably just start right there. That's what I did for the demo that you saw in the beginning of the video. And then I think that pivot point is fine. Then if you wanna pick up the items that we're looking at right here, which are the ones that I show you in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna disable the gizmos because otherwise I won't be able to see anything. So if you look at these ones, these ones are set as static. The, the reason why they're set as static is because Unity didn't, you know, they didn't really plan to do, to basically have somebody pick up these items, which in our case, we're gonna be picking these items up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these ones. I'm gonna remove the static option. And then the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple of components. One of them is gonna be the mesh collider. I'm gonna set it to convex. And I'm also going to be adding a grabbable component. So it's going to be the XR Grab Interactable. I keep calling it grabbable because that's what the Oculus integration calls it. So I just get in the habit of doing that. The the other thing that I'm gonna uh, I can't even. The other thing that I'm also going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have colliders in here so that when these items are, you know, when the scene starts, these items are just not falling. So if I hit play right now, you're gonna see that they are going to be falling through the objects. They're gonna be on the floor because there's really no collider on this object. This is also set, you know, there's no, there's really no mesh collider. So it's gonna go ahead and add a mesh collider. And we're gonna be, we're not gonna be worrying about performance right now. All I wanna do is just get it working. And then, you know, if we wanna worry about performance later, we can, we can undo it as well, do that as well. So for this one, I'm going to, so this one I'm also going to be adding a mesh collider. I'm also going to be adding an XR grab interactable. And I should be able to add, to basically pick up that piece of wood. Can also pick up this item, this item, this item. Let's go ahead and hit play. Make sure that things are staying in place. It's gonna hit play here and then have my scene view open. And it looks like everything, everything is working fine. This one is complaining about the start. Let me see why that is. The mesh collider with a non-kinematic rigid body is no longer supported. And let me make sure that I, oh, I didn't set it to convex. So let me just clear that error and make sure that everything is working. We shouldn't be getting any errors anymore. Yep, it looks like that it's fine. And I think I have my glasses as well. I'm, I'm calling it my glasses. I didn't actually buy those glasses. So. <laughs> so the next thing that we can do that I didn't do for the other video is we can also grab these paint buckets and also add components to those so we can pick them up and we can interact with them. So it's gonna say, this is going to be, just search for grab. And then we can do the same thing with this one. I'm not gonna do it for the brush, we can just do it for the paint, but I think that gives you enough, you know, enough examples. And we make sure that on this one, I set it to convex, I did. And let's go back to this one and I'm just gonna add the last component. Perfect. So now that we have everything set up for, you know, for us to interact with XR, we need to make some changes. Otherwise, this is not going to build on the on the actual device. So I'm going to go ahead and go into File, Build Settings. I'm going to be switching the platform to be Android, and also click on Switch Platform so that we can switch all the assets and everything to be running under Android. All right, guys. So it looks like this finished switching. So now let's go ahead and check a couple more things. I'm going to click on Player Settings. Let me go ahead and resize this just a tiny bit. So these are some things that you're gonna need to do. I'm just going to remove Vulkan because it's not gonna be supported on the Oculus Quest. And then once I remove Vulkan, the default is going to be OpenGL ES3, and that's the one that you need to have if you want to build to Oculus Quest. All right, so it looks like we're done with that. Then the next thing that I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and check at graphics and make sure the strip on news I had a lot of questions from people and some of them, some people are experiencing delays on how much time this is taking. So 7.2 of the Oculus of the Universal RP should fix that issue. But if it doesn't, make sure that you look at these settings. If you click on a street pole, it's going to, you know, it's going to speed up the process of building. But I believe if you do that, it's not going to show the URP, some of the effects correctly. So just make sure that you know that these variables are really important when it comes to that. Then let's go ahead and look at the XR plugin management. We need to click in here and also make sure that we load the right plugins. So right now 
we have the Oculus XR plugin installed, but we also need to add the loader. So I'm just going to click here to add the Oculus loader. And that should be everything that we need to get this going. Let me just go ahead and collapse this so that we have all of our paints. This is going to be, you know, the scene that we're building. Everything looks right. Well, then all you need to do is just click on build settings. Make sure that your scene is selected, which it should be because we're using the template. And then make sure that you look for the device that you want to build to. Click on build and run. And I'm going to be putting this on my desktop. So I'm just going to say Oculus test. Hit save and then that should build to your device and you should see what I had on the beginning of the video. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments and also make sure that you subscribe to the channel because it's really going to help me in bringing you more videos. Thank you guys. All right, guys, thank you much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just show you on URP with the Oculus Quest, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting videos like this in advance and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.